Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love read. So, for those of you that are new, welcome. I'm an intuitive. So, some of what I see in the cards may not ring as what you would traditionally see. Okay, just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. For those of you that are returning, thank you. I have so much gratitude for you. All right. So, we're going to look here for the collective. We're going to look here um, for intention as to what spirit wants to guide on this journey. And as always, please make sure you don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That is the most amazing way to give back to the channel. You can also go find links below for personal readings or if you want to give a donation. All right, so for the collective, who you are attracting love, but to get there, spirits like you've got to have a realization, all right? You've got to clear out the fog, all right? You've got to have a completely new day, right? You can't just sit on the beach waiting for love to come to you. Like there's a process, there's a journey that you are moving through here, okay? Follow your spirit guides, do those meditations. Okay, do those shamanic journeys. Um, they're like, we will ring the bell for you when it is time, okay? And they're saying to me, they actually said, time honored tension, okay? And yeah, there is a letting go, letting go of old emotions, letting go the 8 8 portal, very important here, letting go of what's no longer serving you, okay? So, let's see what else for Sagittarius. Okay, I'm going to pull a few cards from my Lunar Oracle deck to get us started. Okay, Sagittarius. What do we want to share for Sagittarius? Okay, I am being drawn to this bottom card. What you're not seeing here, the challenge here is, okay, that, like, you're in this protective mode. Like there are things waiting for you and you've put, like you've done so much work on your inner child that you're like into this little protective space, okay? Underneath this nest, there's this little protective space and you're like, I am not moving. No, not doing it. And there are things, okay, waiting on the other side. Um, so that's very interesting. I feel like this uh, completion, if you allow it, if you walk through this portal, okay, it's going to give you a lot of peace, okay? A lot of healing that you have been waiting for. But there is this fear, okay, as you've left behind this full moon. Again, there is this fear of, you know, <laughs> not, you know, like you're protecting this inner child. There is this fear, okay? Spirit says none of us should be caged, okay? Not even your inner child. And this is something that you have to work through. Um, the completion comes from finishing the process, okay? Getting out of your head taking your power back as you go through the portal and moving through the other side of it with the other full moon, okay? But you've got to discern the difference, okay? I was actually just telling this to a friend. You've got to discern the difference between excitement and fear. Your body is processing them both the same way. That is just how we are made, okay? You've got to take that time and you really have to cognitively ground yourself in your body to release that fear, okay? So what else here for Sagittarius, okay? What else for Sagittarius? Thank you. Okay, 
you are not feeling in your power. Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? There is something that wants to be birthed within you. And um, again, I feel like this is you not allowing it, right? Like you're letting your roots grow. You're letting yourself sink, okay? Rather than swim. And what's going on currently here is that your mind is cluttered. Your third eye is blocked, okay? Due to this judgment about, okay, this divine energy has gotten away. And I've got the Inyo Divine here. If you didn't read that journey on Vela, link is below. It may call to you. Um, but they're saying that this energy is no longer in the body that you are seeking. This is a higher energy. Like they are showing me a card um, or a meme or something where it says that the universe will keep sending you a soul, okay? But in different bodies until you learn the lesson. And um, they're saying that you have learned the lesson, okay? If you just can tap into this higher power that you're allowing to not open up, not be aware, um, if you go through this portal, you will see, okay, that this body is no longer the one for you, okay? In the past, the fool in reverse, okay, this person helped you clear a lot of dark energy out of you okay but this was not the one meant for you to be leaping towards future possibilities here six of pentacles okay don't be pulled back into the cat and mouse game with anything with anyone all right i feel like that's very essential spirit is sending you the same lesson in a different body do not get pulled into that Okay, so you're not birthing something here, right? Right? Because you're afraid of failure, okay? That's old energy, dark energy. Afraid of failure, okay? That keeps shining back at you. You look in the mirror and you're like, oh, nope, you can't. But, right? When you ground yourself, seven of pentacles... Like there are little messages that are sneaking through that are saying, no, this, there is abundance here. If you can follow this, there is abundance here, right? The hangman, king of wands, okay? You've got to put the chase on hold, okay? You've got to put the mindset of why not me on hold, okay? Because it's not serving you. Judgment and the lovers. Okay, yeah. Okay, this was meant to have you work through really old energy. I feel like, like, digging down deep, okay? Clearing out this protective shell, all right? protective shell in regards to the masculine, in regards to the feminine, in regards to who you are, in regards to love, in regards to money, okay? Yeah, realizing that the only thing that stops you from alignment is within your head, right? And we've got the queen of swords here. Okay, your Akashic record has already been written here. And it's like the princess and the pea, they're telling me, right? Like, you can feel it, but you're not doing it here, okay? Queen of Swords. Like, the only thing that's cutting you off from this, like, space where you're meant to be is you. Okay, the full in reverse in the past, yeah, this was definitely a very energetic 
very, very spiritual connection. Okay, you wished it to come in when it did. It was meant to guide you. It was meant to open you up. Okay, right? And then you were supposed to learn from it and rise from the ashes. Make different choices, right? Like it was releasing, look at this, all these lifetimes of karmic soul contracts. Okay, with this person. Yeah, bringing back your fire. Page of Wands. That's what this was all about, is bringing back your fire. Okay? Six of Pentacles. Again, Spirit saying, do not get into the cat and mouse game where you are left feeling like you don't belong, you don't fit in, you're not enough for anything, no one's ever going to love me, right? Because if you follow your true path, with this full moon, with this portal, okay? There is a new beginning and you can see there's someone standing by the tree, okay? There's something ahead if you just set yourself free. King of Pentacles, okay? Stability, family, um, the grass is greener because it's being cared for, okay? Beautiful energy. Okay, Seven of Cups. There will be a lot of options for you in life on the other side of this. Okay, so what else for Sagittarius? Okay, express your love. Okay, go ahead and tell people that you love them. Go ahead and be expressive about your emotions. Do not hold yourself back due to the fears of being too emotional or too needy, okay? Because this really has to do with the fact that you've been hiding this part of yourself and that's really showing up in your finances and your career, okay? As you allow yourself to have this birth, to be yourself, to come into this alignment, uh, your finances and career are going to start to blossom, okay? So what else does Sagittarius need to know about what's coming forward? Okay, yeah, page of fire. It's going to be a new experience on the other side of this portal and this new full moon that's coming. Okay, to learn, we've got page of fire here twice, to learn how to play with your own fire again. Okay, because you've been stuck in the mud and you need your inner child released in order to do this, okay? And your inner child wants to play, wants to finger paint, wants to get out in the sun, wants to dig in the dirt, okay? Stuck in the mud, let me show you stuck in the mud, right? And what this brings is somebody's manifested their partner for life, okay? Magician, Ace of Cups, and it is coming here, okay? So let's clarify. Tell me a little bit more about playing with your fire, okay? Yeah, okay. It is about looking at why you can be so cold. <laughs> Sorry, Sagittarius. Okay, but why do you block divine timing with your feelings of being closed off and being cold? Okay, King of Pentacles. This could be a father issue, okay, that... Um, or a divine masculine issue overall that has come in about you have to be the lone wolf, you have to be the lone survivor, you don't really belong with your pack, okay? Some of you may not feel like you belong with your family, okay? And it's going to be hard when you've been cold for so long to play with the fire, okay? So the sun here, yeah, says you don't know how to play. Okay, there's the otter in reverse. That is that page of cups, okay? 
you don't know how to play because you think that love is serious business. Love is serious. It's got to be serious. No. You need play. Okay. Ace of Cups here. Yeah, until you can celebrate, really celebrate your feminine side, Four of Wands in reverse, okay, you are not going to find that divinity that you are seeking. So what else here for Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, the only fight here really is of yourself, all right? Um... It's in finding your own strength to get out of this cold. All right, to quit pushing everything away. To quit pushing away your fire. Okay. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, okay, because it's almost like nobody wants to get close to you. They watch you. Knight of, Knight of Swords, okay, they watch you like a hawk. But nobody wants to get close to you. Okay, because um, the fire is destructive, not contained, right? They're like, you're so protective of this darkness within you, the great bear, the mama bear, okay, that you won't let anyone get close enough to see, all right, the aurora borealis, the beautiful fire within Instead, it's destructive, and somebody's waiting. Three of Wands. Okay, I am waiting for you to clear this. So, let's get a few cards from the universe here. Okay. Yeah, all right. You cannot be the only one working through this alone. Okay, it's teamwork. And you're so afraid of being in the pack that you are not, you're being hardened, okay? Yeah, displacement. It is the, the scraps of love that you've gotten through life that has displaced your emotions into this very cold energy your fire into this very cold energy right there's this displacement that needs to be healed and yeah you're looking for what you seek in all the wrong places okay you're looking like a scavenger instead of like the abundant being that you are right Spirit says, you have to learn to play, okay? You have to learn to get out of this serious nature. And I love because the very bottom of this deck is there's the world. And look, it's coming out of being stuck in the mud, right? The ice has thawed and this person is breaking free, right? I'm playing with fire. I'm playing in so many different ways. It's a very beautiful energy. So let's go ahead and close this off with an oracle from the Spirit Animal Wisdom. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, again, of course, is wolf. What's going to heal you here is heart medicine. Okay, let go of that which does not serve you. Let go of that cold, I'm the only one, I'm my own pack mentality. Okay, it's for your highest good. Okay, if you've enjoyed the reading, don't forget to click on the like, all right? So, you get the bat. Listen up. You are working through deep soul patterns. Release any outdated beliefs that surface. Okay. Let's see what the booklet says here. All right. that 50 so that's the challenge is releasing okay listen up element of air in your head about things 
fear. The neo, <laughs> that's the neocortex limbic loop, okay? You are working through deep soul patterns. Release any outdated beliefs that surface. The bat is the guardian of the night and symbolizes rebirth to many. He flies in to let you know that change is coming, fast moving change, that some could interpret as rebirth. Your higher self will come knocking, so be ready to answer the call. You could be, or it could be change, and it, you could be changed. It could be changed in any aspect of your life, but it's the change you have needed and maybe been asking the universe for for some time. Batch use vibrational sound to communicate. Work on the ways you give and receive communication. Make sure you are clear and concise with what you would like in a gentle way. Speak from the heart and have confidence in your voice. The Crystal Companions, Black Moonstone, Tourmalated Quartz, and Obsidian. Okay, beautiful, beautiful protective energies there. So I hope this helps you, Sagittarius. Have a beautiful week, and I can't wait to see you next week. All right, bye.